Shalom, Shalom, it's your brother Warumya, back with another lesson, Lord willing, it be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Waharu Kakwadash, Baraka for Yahweh, Baraka for Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And Shalom to the 144,000, the men of the Lord you see on the highways and byways, prophesying the correct doctrine of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, also. In the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, who the word even calls Jesus Christ and God. I also want to send a shout out to the one third man, women, and children that will escape the judgments of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah by their faith. I got another lesson I want to bring out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Um, we're, we're reaching the time of Jacob's trouble, World War Three, and also the mark of the beast, man. And the reason why the apostles and elders basically uh, push out the mark of the beast so much because we are here. We are at the door of this prophecy coming to pass. And a lot of people uh, stop wanting to watch the mark of the beast videos because it continues to talk about his RFID microchip. And the reason why the apostles and elders push it out so much because you will not get another chance to, to get this prophecy right, man. You, you won't get another chance, man. And that's the reason why we go so hard by pushing this this, this uh, prophecy because if you take this chip, then it's, it's curtains for you. You can't take it out. You can't reverse it. It's curtains, man. So I'm going to get into this video. And based on, I think I'm going to title it, Why Can't IUIC See the Mark of the Beast? Or something to that effect, why they don't teach the Mark of the Beast? Something to that effect, man, because... It's being seen more and more that the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down have, was was correct, man. They was right on the prophecy of the RFID microchip being the mark of the beast. Now, I got a couple of videos I want to play. Here's some scriptures. And Lord willing, it be edifying. <laughs> on the plane you saw the words one world that is prophetic for there will be a one world order that is coming there's going to be a chip that they're actually making right now that they're going to ask you to put inside your hand or your forehead you will not be able to sell or buy without this chip but if you get this chip you will sell your very soul to the devil because the Antichrist is coming. And now we know there's many Antichrists. But the point that she was making is, and I, don't, I can't say she was Edomite or Israelite, is because, uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter. But the message she was saying was warning them that the RFID microchip was coming. And you will, you will be subject to take it. And everything point, is pointing to this being the RFID microchip, man. There's no way around. There's no gimmicks. There's no, no way that you can say this is not true. This is um, this is um, fake. This ain't this ain't what the Lord was set up. If anyone is saying that, they're not men of the Lord, man. The Lord is truly not dealing with them, because you can't say this is sin. You, you can't say the mark of the beast is sin or anything else that you want to come up with. We're seeing it made plain to us. And the men of the Lord are, are able to see it because we're coming in the correct name of the Lord. Also, we're coming in the correct doctrine of the Lord, man. And let's play this. And he's going to solidify what this woman was just warning them about. Here's a question. Would you let someone implant a microchip into your hand if you would receive $2,000? A month in return for getting a chip put in your hand. You heard me right. We'll give you universal basic income, basically. 2,000 euros, $2,000 a month, if you allow us to put a microchip in your hand. That's exactly what's about to happen as part of the rollout of the central bank digital currencies. That's a carrot for them to rope you into this mess. We'll get to that part of the story in a minute. The chip implantation process. Not the corn chip, as Dan said in our chat but a actual metallic tracking chip. Um, but a new report just published this week by the Bank for International Settlements explains how our new digital money system is about to work. We've been warning you that the 
this, this was coming for a long time now on this show. Also, we weren't the only ones predicting this. It was predicted in a little book, you might have heard of it, called uh, The Bible, The Mark of the Beast. Uh, for one thing, this new system, this is how this new system would operate. According to them, the Bank for International Settlements, the new reserve currency, forget the dollar as you know it, basically. This would be the new reserve currency, which is what how they want to label it and how they are labeling it. This would be used to settle all transactions. As everyone moves away from the U.S. dollar right now, this seems like perfect timing to be moving to this new system. And that's plain, man. If you can't see that being the mark of the beast, then the Lord has slated you to be destroyed, man. The Lord has put a spirit on you for you not to see it and for you to be destroyed here in Babylon and great, man. Because this is Esau's, this is ultimately his dream is to have you as a cyborg, real life cyborg. Man replaces eye, lost eye with a wireless camera, man. So this is Esau, man. And if you think this man is, 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 is has some type of spirit to say, you seeing today, seeing is not the uh, seeing is the mark of the beast. You're absolute fool, man. Now here it says ninety percent of payments between China and Russia are now being made without the U.S. dollar. That's they want to get rid of it, man. It's all going digital, man. The societies are changing, man. Everything is going digital. Nothing is is stuck to, as it was <laughs> before. Nothing is, is, is as it was before, man. Now, this technology in, in, in that he has, he's using it. This is this is part of his blessing, man. He inherited the earth. Now, I'm going to play this and pay close attention because the, the guy that's explaining, he, he's, he's, he's null and, <laughs> and void. Don't even pay no attention to him. But the, what information he's showing you, is this is Esau's technology, man? This is this is his this is his um his 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 knowledge is has been increased for him to bring out what he has always wanted to do, man. Make people slaves again, and he wants to make you a digital slave. Now everything is pointing to this. Now check this out. This is fallen angel technology. Humans cannot do this. What you're looking at, by the way, that's a hair. What you're looking at. Is an apple chip. Now, see, that's a hair right here. This slim piece is a hair. So, if you didn't catch it, I want to pause so you can catch it. Now, look how small these these this chip this chip is. This information is in this chip because it's ultimately how about Shimmy Shah's mark, and he's just using Esau to push it on the left hand side. Now, this is a hair. Now, he's going to show you how how small the technology has that's going to be in these chips. It's in your hand and your forehead, man. It's an apple chip. Now, check this out. It's an apple chip, a processor chip under a microscope. It's literally impossible we can do what you're about to see. It's quite obviously magic. It's literally magic. Like, it's always been since the beginning of time. Fallen Angels giving us crazy technology that we could otherwise not do. If you think that humans can just out of the blue do this, then you are fooled. This is literally a copycat, a mimic of God's creation of the earth on a microscopic level. I mean, look how the cities are laid out. Like in the stars, you can see a grid pattern, like an energy pattern that exists. Do you know how close in we are right now? Th this is so ridiculous to think that we could even do this. Our phones are literal black mirrors that we are holding in our hand. It's literal black magic. Literally, you can watch somebody else's life even further if, if you're a hacker, you can hack into someone's phone and see what they're doing at the moment exactly like a crystal ball in a diviner. Really quickly, just for perspective, this is the zoom out. Like how small this is, is freaking ridiculous that we could ever even, you know, create at such a small uh, microscopic level. It is not human. I'm telling you, it's not human. It's all witchcraft. See, Esau is the devil, man. And he worshiped these gods and these deities. And he gets the information and the technology on the left-hand side, not from fallen angels. But Esau, basically, he, he looks into to, to, um, to different, um, uh, what I would say, with, uh, he looks into different um, uh, deities. And he, and he basically just goes back and see and research what was what they what they did before? Cause his playbook never changes. 
he goes back and see what the, what they did in the ancient world, and then he brings it back, and re basically, um, uh, what you call it makes uh, he, he, as he would say makes it better, like he would um, clone people and do all different type of stuff because they believe that they are gods, man. That's the point, and these Edomites are bringing the information out, and and, and, and if, Esau, if Esau can see it, why can't Jake see it? Why the IUIC can't see it? Why these other Hebrew Israelite um, groups can't see that this this is the information that is on high the Lord is bringing on the earth, man. These Edomites are able to see it. The mark of the beast is a chip. It creates a boil on your hand, and it will happen. I'm telling you, I saw it. Whenever I was in tribulation with the Lord, people were trying to fake this little chip. And it's, it's a lot like Neuralink. If you know what I'm talking about, go Google Neuralink. It, it, it's, it's like messes with your brain, okay? When the people get the chip, the mark of the beast, it creates an alternate personality. It alters your personality. It makes you calm. It sends out endorphins to your brain to make you calm. I'm trying to warn you, this is coming. I don't know if this chip exists yet, but it was very, very small. And with the instantaneously, when you get this chip, your body reacts to it. And, and, and if, I'm trying to warn you all that people will seek death and they will not be able to find it. Because when you try to do anything to harm yourself, okay, in any way, or harm anybody else, it sends a signal to your brain somehow and calms you down. It makes it where you are like on dopamine and it's like all happy and you, and, but you're like, they're like zombies. They're not there in their eyes. And I warn everybody that they will use the drones, drones by the thousands, searching the whole area always to see if your chip communicates to the drones in the sky. This will take place. And if you if you do not have a chip, whenever they scan your body and you uh, are, are basically without one, they send the, the, the authorities to come and find you. And the drone stays on you with all kinds of technology like infrared and all kinds. You can't run. You can't get away from it. Okay? So it hovers over and it flies around and follows you the whole time until the authorities find you to give you the chip. Or you get your head So that goes to show you that they're not holding back this information, this technology, man, because he just told you what was going to happen in the scriptures itself. I mean, this is plain to see. I mean, if Esau can see it, you Jake should be able to see it. This is not a far fetched to happen, man. We, we can see it coming out, man, very, very soon. The technology Esau has, he's showing you that he's able to do what those videos explain. He's able to mark you with the chip. You're able to, um, you're not going to be in a buy and sell unless you have it. They're going to have drones circulating for you to, um, they have drones circulating for you to, 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 to scan your body to see if you have it. All of this is, is being, being made more and more uh, plain to, to the people that understand and see what this man's plans is. And not, not only that, though, um, I think his name's Nur, um, the uh, Nur Harari. I, I know I'm butchering his name, but he said that humans are now hackable animals, man. He said humans are now hackable animals. So this technology that, that Esau possesses, he's going to use it, man. And there's no way around it, man. There's no way. Well, I didn't know. You didn't see it. I couldn't see it. And it, man, this is not. This is no joke, man. Because as that is happening, they're putting things in place that is going to link up with this mark of the beast, man. Okay, so here we have um, the new ATMs here: UVA Credit Union in Burkmar, Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, Looks like they're made by Hillsong, but the thing that looks kind of like um, like the buildings there in Wuhan, um, China. Um, this looks like a, a bar to possibly scan your license plate or your vehicle. Um, down here we have ID card scan, I assume, for um, vaccination cards. Um, over here we have a palm vein scan, which looks like uh, possible microchips. Um, 
And so what they're going to do is, is they're going to require mandatory vaccinations for um, all Americans and all of your children. And if you do not, you know, you know, comply with them, then they're not going to allow you to have access um, to your money. They will take your children. Um, you will not have any kind of benefits, but they will give you the option <laughs> to opt out to give you free will to make it your own choice. You hear what she hollered out, man. So these Edomites, are, they know, man. IUIC talking about is sin. Now Esau is not, he doesn't know anything about the, the 613 laws, man. Now Esau is going to have to take this chip as well, man. These low-level Edomites you've seen, they're going to have, they're going to, they're going to have to take that chip as well. So if they can see it, and these like these leaders I can't see it, and they're not teaching it. Then what what happened to them for them not to see it? Either, either, it's either their pride that they don't want to see that uh, the the apostles and elders of Great Millstone were were correct from the beginning, or they sold out, they sold themselves out, and their congregation out, and, and they're going to be judged for <clears throat> for selling them out, man. I mean, that's the only conclusion that she really can come up with, man. Cause this is this is this is plain, man. They don't have no no um no scanning um you know what I'm saying. You can go in now. You can go into uh, different stores and you can scan your hand, man, by your palm. This is technology, man. This is Esau's technology. Now, now, how can you see in? How can you go in there and see in? And they know you see in and not let you eat uh, get any food. What sense do that make, man? How are they going to scan and see if you see it? No, man. It's a physical chip, man. It's a physical trip. And the apostles elders on down have broken that down several times. I done did videos on it, breaking down the karagma. But this one I want to get into. These people are being led by their, by their pastors, their leaders, their bishops, or however you want to lead them, however you want to label them, I'll leave them to be destroyed, man. Because we can plainly see that the mark of the beast is a physical chip that they're trying to give people, man. This is um, this is uh, Jeremiah 23, and I'm going to start at verse 21. He says, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. So you have, you have um, people that are proclaimed to be prophets, and they have a large congregation and leading a lot of people, and a lot of people are believing on them and leaning on them, but the Lord has not sent them, man. He says, I have I have not sent them, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way. See that? Because a lot of people have, uh, the IUIC, they took the jab, man. Because their leader told them to. Just like these churches, their leaders tell them to take the um, take the jab. Told them to, to go and vote. Told them to go and to do different things for the government, man. He says, but if they had stood in my council and had and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way, and from their evil the like from the evil of their doings. So that if you if a man of the Lord is teaching you the correct way and the correct doctrine, they will lead you out of harm's way, man. Because if you believe in these people, man, and these leaders that that are not sent by Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. You're meant to be destroyed, man. And you're not going to get a chance to redo um, taking the MOTB, man, the mark. You're not going to get a re chance to redo it. This is it, man. This is ball game. And they're going to they're going to make sure that if you don't take it, then you're going to be exempt, man. They're going to you're going to chop your head off, man. But the faith that we have in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, the Lord is going to, to have mercy upon His elect. For denying this world, man. And plenty of scriptures telling you not to take it. It says, I am, it's like, am I a power at hand? Say, how about Shem Yahushai? 
and not a power of fall. See that? The Lord is near, man. He sees what's going on in the earth. He knows what's going on in the, on in the earth. He's not a power of fall that he can't hear your prayers, man. He says, I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, saying I have a dream, I have dreamed and have dreamed. He says, how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? See that? They're, they're prophesying to you that they're going to get, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have a prosperous um, a year. You're going to have this. You're going to have that. Your business is going to grow, your cause, and everything is going to continue on the same. Not prophesying to you that this place is finished, man. They're going to bring in the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, man. And that's one of the major prophecies that are uh, that's going to hit the earth, man. One of the last major prophecies that's going to hit the earth, man. And we're very, very close to that time the Lord is going to bring in this chip. And we're warning you and warning you to not take it, man. Because it's going to be a great famine in the earth. It's going to be a great famine in the earth, man. It's going to be... All chaos out here, man. The time of Jacob's trouble. And we, you know, we know our words are not going on deaf ears. Those that are, uh, are seeking you, how about Shem Al Shah is going to listen and be prepared spiritually and mentally for what is coming. Verse 26 it says, How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of deceit of their own heart, man. See that? We don't have the name of the Lord. Uh, he's going to give us a new name. Uh, no trouble is coming. All of this is 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 is, uh, is of their own heart, man. Because we can see the things are happening in the earth, man. And I don't I don't follow any other doctrine. I don't go and watch a lot of other camp videos. I only watch the apostles, elders, and brothers of Great Millstone. So I'm a little biased, but it's the truth. Because if we don't tell you the, the, the correct way, your blood is going to be on our hands, man. Your blood is going to be on our hands. Because we didn't warn you from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. We didn't warn you from the Lord, man. Esau has no power, man. The Lord is just using him on the left-hand side. This is Jeremiah 14 and verse 14. It says, Then said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I was saying the Lord's name is Christ. We don't have the name. Call him Christ. Call him Jesus. You, you know different from the world, man. And we know the Lord's name is Yahweh being the father and the son being Yahweh Shah, who the word England calls Jesus Christ, man. So if we at the end, we have to have these things revealed to us for us to understand and know what times we're in, man. But if you're following after these, like IUIC and, and, and GOCC and, and and all these other all these other camps that teach a false doctrine, then man, you're gonna be judged, man. And it's nothing against against no one that <laughs> that that thinks uh, they have the truth. But the point is, you shouldn't have no liking to someone if if you don't understand if they don't understand what times we're in, man. Because a lot of these leaders don't know what times we're in, man. They don't really know what this truth is really about. They can't see the spiritual aspect of the scriptures, man. They only see the physical part of it, man. And we're spiritual beings, man. We're spiritually connected to you, how about Shem Yahweh Shah? So, no, it's not against them. If you like them and want to be friends with them, but it's about the truth, man. This is about the Lord's business. So, this is not personal. Because we don't want you to be destroyed just because oh, well, I like him. This is not a, a, um, a gathering of uh, who I like and who they like. It ain't about that, man. It's about making it on that chariot and getting up out of here before the wrath of the Lord comes. And you don't have you don't have that much time, man, to get right. Let me read it again, man. Let me, let me, let me get to it. It's verse 14, Jeremiah 14 and 14. It says, Then said, Then Yahweh Shem Yahweh shall say unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you 
a false vision of divination and a thing of not and the deceit of their heart. And that's what we make it plain to you, man. They're not coming in the spirit of the Lord, man, because they don't worship the Lord, man. They don't come in his name. So that's how you can show how you, that's how, that's how we know for a fact that these men are not men of the Lord, man. They're not coming in the name of the Lord. He said, therefore, thus said you how about Shem al concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name. So basically they're claiming to be men of the Lord, claiming to be that Christ is uh, dealing with them, which his name is Yahweh Shah. I don't like saying Christ at all, but we know who groups, you know, use Christ and Jesus to say the Lord's name. Therefore, thus say you how about Shem al concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, I sent them not yet. They say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. And see, that's what they're saying as well. That no judgment is coming from the Lord, man. And you will have people that, that they, they call on you, how about Shemmy Shine and be false prophets. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make it plain for you. You know what I'm saying? Those ones you can see. Because through the spirit, we're going to be able to read people's spirit, man. It says, uh, by the sword and famine shall these these those prophets be consumed, and the people to whom they they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets. See that you're following these groups that are not giving you a hedge of protection, which is your how about Shimei Shai, his word. You're gonna be cast in the streets, man. And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. See that. The time of Jacob's trouble, man. And you're not built up in the spirit, you're going to lean back on Esau. Because I, I believe a lot of these leaders of these Israelite groups that not coming in the name of Yahweh Shem Al Shai is sold out, man. Those that are not teaching the correct doctrine and being the mark of the beast, being an RFID microchip, they don't sold out, man. But you got your general Johannes. I don't got a, I ain't got a name, everybody. If you've been in this troop sometime, you should know who was who. Verse 16, it says, and the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them, them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters. For I will pour out, I will, I will pour their wickedness upon them. See that the Lord is going to pour your wickedness upon you, man. Being proud, say you know what I'm saying. Well, well, that ain't the mark of the beast. I don't want nobody talking about no chip. So they're stuck in a, a, a strong delusion, or they sold out to you. How they sold out to the so-called white man. This is Sirach 15, and I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, "If you hear, if you fear your how about Shimei was shy, you will do this, master this, master his law, and will." It's like I'm gonna make sure I say this before I even really get started. This is the apocrypha. Sirach, in the Good News Translation, I didn't say it at the beginning, but I wanted to make sure you, you understand what I'm reading out of. Um, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, 15 and verse 1, it says, If you fear your how about Shem Shah, you will do this. Master his law, and you and you will find wisdom. See that? Go on into the law, statute, commandments, um, have, and follow them to the best of your ability. You're going to find wisdom. He says, she will come to welcome you like a mother or a young bride. She will give you wisdom and knowledge like food and drink. And that's what we're seeking now. The wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Shah. Rely on her for support. See that? We're going to rely on the wisdom and knowledge that we learn for support, man. And you will never know the disgrace of failure. She will make you more honored than all your neighbors. When you speak in the assembly, she will give you the right words. See that? The spirit will, will give you the right words, man. And that's how you know the spirit is dealing with you when you have the right words to say to someone to build them up in the faith of the Lord, man. Because we're telling you what's going to get you out of harm's way, how to get on a chariot. This is all of you, how about Shimei Shah, man? Who to have faith in? You will find happiness and genuine, genuine joy. Your name will be remembered forever. And that's a true man of the Lord, man. 
that's putting his life on the line to show his love for his people, man. But people who are foolish or sinful will never even catch sight of wisdom. See that? You have a, you have Israelites, man. They're, they're going, IUIC, they go, they love to march and go to like a, like a black, um, like a, what you call that? Uh, um, like a Black Panther Party or one of these um, black groups that never benefited us. They will, they will love, they love to go and march and show up and, you know what I'm saying, to, to, um, to be, uh, be seen a man. See, we, we want to push this word out for you to be saved from the hands of man, which is Esau Edom and these heathen nations, man. He says, but people who are foolish or, or, or sinful will never even catch sight of wisdom. She will have nothing to do with the conceit, the conceit, with the conceited people, she never enters the mind of liars. See that? The wisdom the Lord possesses, it won't enter into the mind of fools, man, of liars. It is not, uh, uh, it is not uh, apprehend appropriate for a sinner to sing hymns of praises because his worship is insec insecure, insincere, Salakium. And see, these, these uh, leaders are insincere, man. They don't care about the flock. They're trying to fill their bellies, man. Now, what is the benefit of having all this money here in Babylon the Great when it's going to be taken, when it's going to be destroyed? Now, now they said the IUIC uh, or Nate, they're worth $150 million. So when the time of the mark of the beast, because they're going to crash the dollar. You see that every article you 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 you, you click on is going into the, the crash of the dollar, man. BRICS currency uh, taking over and not using the American dollar. So if you have all this money, what form of payment are you going to use after the money crashes, man? If the American dollar is gone, what form of payment are you going to use after the American dollar's crash, man? They've already been telling you it's going to be a CBDCs, man, digital currency. So the men of the Lord are teaching you the correct way. And that's the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone on down, man. Because these, these Israelite groups that are teaching something different, they're not had the spirit of the Lord on them, man. And you have to be able to, to be, 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 be able to, to see that, man. And to see who you're following. Do they really have the truth? Do they really care about my well-being? Do they really care about your how about Shimei Or are they just doing this to make money? This ain't about a debate. Who can get cut? Who is, that's about salvation, man. It's about seeing you on that chariot, being being man of the Lord or a woman of the Lord, man. Seeing you out of harm's way. This is uh, verse 11. No, uh, verse 10, it says, A hymn should be an expression of wisdom. Inspired by Yahweh by Shem Yahushai itself. So we're singing that new song, man. That new hymn that you're hearing is from the men of the Lord, man. Don't blame Yahweh by Shem Yahushai for your sin. Yahweh by Shem Yahushai does not cause what he hates. Don't claim that he has misled you. He doesn't need the help of sinners to accomplish his purposes. See, <laughs> That's plain, man. So you, you you're gonna if you're not following the truth and following the man of the Lord, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to blame your own self because it wasn't the Lord that misled you, it was the one, it was your pride that misled you. Because you believing on, uh, uh, believing on on people because of the way they dress, the way they talk, they speak so um, uh, intelligent in this society to you, they 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 make it so plain for you. It can be a total lie, but you believe it, man. And like I said at camp, you know what I'm saying? When I came into the truth, the apostles, the apostles and the elders, they challenge you to, to prove them wrong, man. They challenge you to find out for yourself. This is a challenge to you. Do you do you do you want to do you care about your salvation? Do you care about getting on a chariot? Do you believe in your how about Shemiel Shai? It's a challenge to you. 
But see, these men don't challenge their congregation to, to see if they're wrong, man. On the on IUIC comment, you can't even put a scripture up on the IUIC comment board. It's all emojis and good, good, uh, good comments, man. But it goes to show you, man, it's a separation, man. Verse 13, it says, How about Shimei Al-Shai hates evil in all its forms? And those who fear you, how about Shimei Al-Shai find nothing attractive in evil? See that? That's a true man of the Lord, man. So if you lead someone to take a jab, then you, you, you see an evil, man, because everything Esau does comes from evil, man. His wicked heart. Everything, man. So we man, we make it a separation, man, between who are the true men of the Lord and who are who are the men of the Lord according to the scriptures, according to Yahweh by Shimei Shah, and who is not, man. Because we coming in the, the the ancient Paleo Hebrew name of the Lord, man, which was given to us in this time for us to be saved, but to call on to pray to. This is Proverbs thirteen. And um, just get the point in 9 and 10. It says, the light of righteousness, it's like the light of righteous rejoice, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. So all those, those Israelite groups that teach a false doctrine, they're going to be put out. Only by pride cometh content, but with the well advised is wisdom. See that? The well advised is wisdom. And our apostles and our leaders and our elders and bishops we're led by, by those men as, as examples, man. We are being advised with true true wisdom, man. And we're seeking those that think have the same mindset as us to lead you in the same way that we was taught, man, the way we learned. This is Proverbs 16 and verse 18. It says, pride goeth before destruction and a, and a haughty spirit before a fall, man. So these, these Israelite groups that are teaching the truth are finna fall, man. And we warn you of it. Because we can see we're in the last days, man. Daniel so, spoke of it. He's seen it through the spirit. The angel Gabriel came to him and he told him this, man. This is a... This is Daniel's 12 in verse 4. He says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. See that? We have to be in the end because the angel Gabriel told him to seal the book into the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. See that? Knowledge is increased, man. And we've seen the technology that Esau possesses now. And I looked this up. Knowledge. Knowledge goes into facts, information, and skills acquired by a person through experience or education. See, that Esau has, has been testing shit for many years, man. They've been, they've been, they've been doing this shit, man, for many years, man. It says... In theological or practical understanding of a subject. So they've been they've been practicing this chip, man, for many years, man. They just didn't they just didn't get um this technology and and just was able to have it and not and able to possess it and not use it. They was given this technology to use it, man. Man, you have some people even saying that the uh, the thermonuclear missiles. Are not even true, are not real. And that's the people that the Lord has already sealed for destruction, man. This is the word fact, a thing that is known or proved to be true. So we know for a fact knowledge has increased over the years. And now that we are um, coming into the time of the end, we're seeing the mark of the beast finna hit the scene, man. This is, this is Revelations 5 because the Lord is the one that that, that, uh, that um, removed the seal for us to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in this time, man. 
This is Revelation 5 and 1. It says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written therein, there with, slacking, a book written within and on the backside seal with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven nor in earth under, nor under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. So no one was able to do this. It says, and I weeped much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. So no one, John is, John is seeing this, man. No one is worthy to do this. So if the Lord is doing this, the Lord has to be with his men. He has to, he has to reveal it to us for us to understand and know we at the end. Verse five, it says, and one of the elders saith unto me, weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. If this is talking about Yahweh Shai, man. So the, the Yahweh Shai removed those seals and opened the book. It was for the time of the end because that's what the angel Gabriel told Daniel, man. So the Lord opened the book and removed the seals for this, this time now. For us to get the knowledge, wisdom, understanding to be saved with what's coming on the earth, man. And this is plain to us, man, because we know the Lord gave us the Holy Spirit, man. And that's how we're able to understand the times we're in, what we're involved in, What's happening in the earth? We're watching daily, man. This is 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 57. I want to get to the point here. It says, But thanks be to power which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua Mashiach. See that? We've gotten the victory. That's how we're able to, he was able to the Lord has gotten a victory, and that's how we was able to remove the seals, man. Those seven seals, man, which is completion. See, this is it, it, we're going into beautiful times, man. The Lord has has gotten a victory in the spirit, but it's gonna come in the physical, man. And we've gotten a victory in the spirit, man. But we're going to get it in the physical. So the Lord bless us to know all things, man, for us to have salvation. Let me read. Let me read it. This is Psalm. This is not Psalms ninety-eight. In verse one, it says, "O sing unto how about Shimei a new song." See that we're singing a new song. We just read in Sirach. It says, "For he have done marvelous things; his right hand and his holy holy arm have gotten him the victory." That's Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua have made known his salvation. See that? He opened the book. He opened the seals, man. For us to know how to get to salvation, man. His righteousness have he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. See that? He have remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All ends of the earth have seen the salvation of power, the salvation of our power. And that's what is going to happen, man, very, very soon, man. But we he have gotten the victory, man. He conquered death. And he was able to, re, able to remove the seals for us to understand in the times we are in now, man. This is 1 John 2. And I'm going to start at verse um, 19. It says, they went out from us, but they were not of us. And it's talking about these Israelites that claim to be Israel. 
but they're not of the elect. It says, for if they had been of us, they would have no doubt have continued with us. See that? But that pride, man, won't lead them in the correct way, man. Not taking, any, not telling your people to take the jabs, man. Not, not going, not telling them that nothing, no harm is coming, no, no time of Jacob's coming, trigger trouble is coming. It says, but they went out that they might be made manifest, that they were not all of uh, Slakin, that they were not all of us, but ye have an unction from the the Holy One, and you. And ye know all things. See that? Even though these Israelite groups claim to be Israel, but the Lord has given his, 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 his knowledge, wisdom, understanding to his elect. For you to know all things, knowing what the mark of the beast is, knowing what times he is, knowing the time of Jacob's trouble is coming. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it. And that no lie is of the truth, man. See that? The Lord is separating the Israelites from the elect. Those that know the Israelites from the elect. So he has given us the information that we need to make it on the chair, man, to, to, to receive salvation. He said you have, a, you have an unction of the Most High, of the Holy One, and you know all things. So we know all the things that Esau was given to bring on the earth. We know it. And no one can say you didn't know, man. I didn't know the mark of the beast was the RFID microchip. Man, you had brothers the Lord set up to bring it out constantly for you, man. Constantly before you, man. This is Revelation 13 and verse 16. It says, and he, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is, here is wisdom. See that? The wisdom we read about earlier. You have to have that, man, to, the, to be able to discern what is right. And you listen to the to the men of the Lord, you're going to be right, man. Because we brought out the information to you for you to see it. And the mark of the beast is not sin. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the, of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score and six, man. But the information and the information is out there for you, man. You have to be able to understand and, and and be able to discern between it, because the time is coming coming into is no turning back, man. You'll never get a chance to do it right. So I'm gonna end it there. Lord willing, was edifying. Shalom.